So again, the, these are the part numbers that you're going to need. And uh, this should pretty much cover everything that you would need to do the build besides the rear bumper. Uh, you can actually use a rear uh, two-wheel drive slash rear bumper. And um, I just have this secured with some zip ties, but it's actually very, very strong. And what I did was I actually used the existing um, screw hole that's here with a longer screw to go through the stock body into the rear. Um, I'm undecided if I'm going to leave it like this or if I'm going to use something else. So by the time the project's over, I'll definitely have my mindset and I'll let you guys know what I ended up doing in here. That way you have an idea of if you want to do it for your build. And uh, this doesn't come this way. It comes with um, the, the grill for the radiator. There's a little fan inside and also the radiator itself. Um, I did take it apart so you can see um, the parts that it does come with. And this does come black and I painted this with um, an aluminum spray paint that's good for plastic. Now again, this is never going to replicate a full metal cage trophy truck, but this is as close as you're going to be able to get to it. And this would be the most affordable way to do it because you're not going to spend as much as you would on a custom cage. So basically we're just going to have to cut all these out and assemble. And just be careful when you're cutting out the plastic pieces. Um, you know, you want to smooth them out. You can use sandpaper or uh, I'm using an X-Acto knife to get it kind of straightened out. Doesn't need to be perfect, but you know, uh, it's going to go under the body. So it doesn't really make a big difference. So when you're assembling the cage, it's important that you do one side at a time. So uh, it doesn't really matter which side you start on, but, um, I'm basically going to start from this side and then and put on the other side. So the one thing that I've come to notice is that um, the Chevy body is a little bit wider. So if you can see here, there's a little bit of space left on this side and a little bit of space left on this side. I'm not really thrilled about it, but there's not much I can do since I already have this body. I'm not going to discard it. Plus, in addition to that, I've already cut out the rear to start mocking up where I need to cut in here so it can sit flush with the, with the top. And yeah, so this is the status that we're at right now. Um, slowly but surely it's getting there. I would say the next step now is to shorten the rear end. That way um, I know how to cut the, or I should say drill the holes for the body. And that way it sits right. So with that being said, we're now one more step closer to paint. Now I believe the next thing I'm going to do now is mock up the the body and make sure everything lines up and then actually mark the the holes for the body post and then we can begin to prep for paint it's really starting to take shape now i really like the way it looks um even though the, the roll cage isn't going to fit fully onto this i still think it's going to look nice what do you guys think